Right, so what is up guys, welcome to 177 Entertainment and the Non-Refundable Podcast. Uh, I am, I suppose, technically at this point I'll be classified as a host. Yeah, let's uh, go with host, that makes you sound good. Yeah, it gives me a a full sense of uh, importance and grandeur. Um, I am Nif, I am once joined once again by Jay. Hi, I've waved. And he waved, good, the the customs are continuing. Um, Yeah, so this is the Non-Refundable Podcast, an hour-ish of your life, which we do not guarantee where anything useful will be said, and no information will probably be gained in any way. Um, And Jay will try and make sure he talks into the microphone rather than near it this time. Well, they just it bothers me. I, I don't like having microphones thrust in my face. It's not thrust, it's, it's sat stationary, it's almost motionless. Well, shut up. <laughs> right, well, before we get too far, we must make this legally um, safe for, for my company. Um, so, as always, the disclaimer passed from our legal team is that 177 Entertainment makes no promises that what you're about to listen to will contribute to your life in any way. There is a high chance that what you're about to hear will be totally inaccurate. And the views expressed within are solely of those of the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's on view, uh, views on politics, celebrities, news, facts or opinions on the world in general. We'd also like to remind you this is a satirical podcast with a mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those with a serious disposition or lack of understanding when it comes to the attempts at comedy may want to turn off now and also please do listen responsibly. Right. I'd like to think that you're legal department is a small man called Nigel. No, it's me. Very tiny desk. Very t- Don't shatter the illusion! <laughs> it's, I, if there's an illusion at this point, I've built it up way more than I intended do to. Not leave, do not draw the curtain. We don't need to know this. That leave was, the veil down. I mean, that was panic written five minutes before I turned up here in a mild attempt at making a joke. No, which he will... has... Sh- don't listen to him, people. He has a legal department. The guy's name is Nigel. He's got a small desk. Nigel. He's got one of those uh, bobbing head... Uh, bird things and a tiny plastic frog. I can only ever think of the Simpsons when I see them now. Yes, that's all they are. I also now. saw that episode the other day. Oh, excellent! Wow. Yeah. So it's clearly true. Yeah, I know. It's one of those. You know, when you get those whole nothing happens for a very long time and lots of things happen. They go, "Fuck, that's really coincidental." Yes, I've had that. That's occurred. That's been your life. Well, recently. Had, yeah, it has. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you have anything you want to talk from your face hole about today? Not particularly. No, I was just going to go with the flow. Go see what happens. The ebb and or flow. Yeah. Um, well, the main thing that has happened since the last recording that we've had, yeah, it's going to be very boring and politicky. Ooh. But is that snap at the general election oh, that yes. we were told was not going to happen, but it's happened? But it's happening, yeah, yeah, because miraculously the Conservatives have a very long, very very large lead in the opinion polls, apparently. Yeah. So like shit, yeah. and it's definitely also not because there are thirty MPs currently up for criminal allegations of overspending Nothing to in the last that. election. Nothing mm. at all, does it? No. No. No, no. No. Nope. nope. It's uh, so we can present a strong front yep. against this leaving Europe business, which will be over by the time this government ends anyway, but we'll gloss over that. Um, Everything is so very above board with British politics. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Clear and honest. Um, it's, I mean, I'm always led with when anything to do with politics, being a, a younger person with fairly liberal friends, I always generally have an unfair view on what I think the state of the country is going to end up like. Yeah. Because I have liberal friends on Facebook sharing all stuff about Jeremy Corbyn. Yes. Um, and it's like, oh yeah, Labour in a good thing. And then you look at the polls and they're like, oh no, he's 14 points behind. Okay, never mind. He yeah. might win, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Mm. At sea. At sea, yes. Um, it's just, I I just, it confuses me how the Conservatives still have, I think it was a 41 to 20 something. At the moment, they promise money to rich people. Yeah, and there's quite a lot of um, and old people and, and old people. Jeremy Corbyn was on the side of like the IRA and what have you. And which poor is, I mean, a chance and whatever your views on that. And apparently, like uh, Hassad as well, he came out in defence of. Apparently, again, this is all allegedly. It's just hearsay from Things friends and yeah. uh, acquaintances and brief scrolls down a Twitter page. I'm fairly sure he came out on the side of not blowing lots of shit up. Yeah. I think that's really where he was sort of aiming. Yeah, I mean, he was he was pro, pro IRA on the basis that he is happy for them to fight for their country and something they believe in because they feel unjust. And yeah, maybe us owning a top corner of an island that's near us is when the weird? rest of it is a separate entity and country all of its own is a little bit strange. Mm. Looking at you, Gibraltar, as well. Yeah. Um... Then yeah. Plus, I will. Uh, for people who think that I'm pro IRA or anything, I did have a granddad who was in, who was from Northern Ireland and was in Belfast during the Northern Ireland conflict. Mm. So I am aware of how bad that was. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
so yeah, I know people probably did, and I'm I'm saying this as if anyone actually fucking listens to our name. <laughs> um, so the bloke I, in Florida going, who's the IRA? No, it's pretty much what just Harry. on about? Well, it's just Harry at this point. Hey, it? Harry. It's, yeah, it's just Harry. Um, yeah, so I, I am aware, obviously, all the shit that happened there, and um, but yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> like yeah, nice. the guy the guy that was in favour of it twenty odd year, tw- yeah, twenty odd years ago. God forbid his opinions this, might have changed yeah, in 20 years. I know. It just seems to be like... So there's a man who wants to give more money to the poor, save the NHS, free tuition fees, yeah, and wants to put take more money away from people who already have lots of it. Yeah. And he's not even winning the lower classes. Yeah. It's not ideal, is it? No, it's all old people thinking he's a communist. That's yeah. pretty much what I've managed to link well, it to. Well, his party's colour is red. It is red. It's, I was having a discussion with my friend uh, Kenny about this, and it's basically Labour have to be dead centre. You can't be left anymore no. because everyone just goes communist. Yeah. Like, if you actually have general socialist and views. Corbyn sounds a lot like Gorbachev, it doesn't at all. No. Go- Go- no. Corbyn and no, i got nothing. Kremlin? Sounds more like Kremlin. It does sound more like Kremlin. Yeah. Yeah, Corbyn Russia. sounds vaguely so. What we're saying really here is vaguely like Kremlin. Putin is behind Corbyn. That's yes. that's what we're Putin's saying. Putin's behind everything, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely Probably. behind Trump. Yeah. Right. Spe- speaking of which, there's the whole testing of weapons and yes, shit. Yeah. the uh, the inevitable dick showing off like how big is my penis between America and North Korea, which is definitely what you want. So I was keeping a vague eye on the Trump thing. Uh, for a I while. think Trump is keeping a vague eye on the Trump yeah. thing as well. And then decided just not to because it's sad. Makes just me cry. horrible, really. Yeah, it is, like, yeah. What horrible, outdated thing is he doing now? Exactly. How many decades has he stepped back today? Yes, yeah, it's just becoming... Fucking uh, ridiculous. It's making me care less and less about what's happening in the world because it's, like, uh, so it's probably going to be a war at some point soon. Probably fucked. Yeah, yeah I'll probably die. In, I mean, war now is over, I mean... 20 seconds yeah and it's like oh button right everyone in that country's dead cool right on with the world done yeah so yeah that's pretty much all that I had really to talk about was just based on that it was kind it was of on. depressing yeah it's just <laughs> well I just don't understand it but then I am as I mean in the last election yeah I did vote conservative because I felt that they were the best for uh, the option at that time yeah based on the fact that we were on a big deficit and it's generally conservatives are big business politics basically mm-hmm. there's run from people who have money and know how to make more money yes so that seems to be a talent you get when you have money yeah so but the what they've done is they've made more money for themselves yes uh, no one saw that i mean coming. in fairness they, they have put the minimum earnings up about two grand over their time in in power which is good for me yeah um they have however lowered the upper tax brackets by probably more but anyway <laughs> uh-huh. um uh. And haven't done a lot of things that they said they were going to do. No, but that uh, seems quite standard. Oh, yeah, it? that's politics. So you accept yeah. you accept that, but this seems to be even less than what they said they were going to. Most ah, people less say, well, than yeah. the standard. Less, yeah, yeah. yeah, less than the standard. Fuck all. Damn. Um, and yeah, it's just like now it, I I would probably consider myself a socialist more than anything else. Fair. I don't know. I, I I generally try and avoid all politics in any way. But I'm not a huge fan of politics. No, I, I, I to quote Billy Connolly, the politics should be run by people who don't want to do it. Yes. Yeah. You know, anyone well, in power should be someone who doesn't really want to yeah, be there. Politics should be done by people who don't want to do it because yeah. it'll be the, the least amount of faff will be done to do yeah. it. It'll be done with the most amount of common sense. Yeah. And then everyone can go about their fucking day. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, the salaries of politicians is pretty fucking stupid as well. Yes, yeah, that should probably be less. But, yeah, I, I know people say they do a lot of work, but mm, yeah, do really, they really? Yeah, they do it's a lot difficult. of dinner speaking. I think. Yes. Yeah, Tony Blair uh, made quite a career Millions of that. After. Yeah. Well, oh, I saw career. something about. There was a. I didn't read the article, but I saw a headline about Tony Blair saying, "I oh, know it's on News Thump. Don't worry." <laughs> so. Yeah, so it, it was something that caught my eye about it. Was something about it, it was to do with Blair and Brexit MPs or something or other. But I'm pretty sure it was a, a news thump or something like that article. So, do you not find that news thump articles are getting more and more scarily accurate? I mean, they're, I, obviously yeah. they're designed to be satirical and not be serious, but some of them are a bit close to some of them. You do look at and go, "Is that right? Well, that might be right." Yeah, yeah. it's just clickbait. That could be true. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, that that headline's like six months away from happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, I'm just 
the way this everything is going out right now. I'm just I've I've given up caring and given up worrying. To be honest. Yeah, I think that's probably not a bad idea. To no. be honest, no. no. Well, maybe not giving up caring, but certainly giving up worrying. Like, yeah, it's going to happen one way or another. I was just uh, try and not. You know it. who I feel sorry for? The writers uh, of House of Cards. <laughs> yeah, because they can't make shit scary. Yeah, enough. like they're just fucked now. They can't yeah. do anything. Yeah, so like you, well, I mean, what what can we write that's funnier than what Trump's already yeah, doing anyway? Right. Right. Hey, wouldn't it be great if our character? Oh no! Oh, wait, no, he's done. He's uh, done it. He's done worse. He's done worse. Oh my god! Our, our commander in chief is actually doing that. Oh, right. Cool. Oh dear. Uh, all right then, because <laughs> it was, was a house of cards. Was like, yeah, get buddy with Russia, and yeah. then it's like, no, he is getting buddy with. He's, he's doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and then then he got Russia pissed off with him. So what? House of Cards is actually just sort of half a season yeah. ahead of real life. Yes. Yeah. It's basically what it, what's going on here. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, that's scary. Considering I stopped watching House Cards halfway through season three. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened after that, but I can only imagine it got worse. <laughs> it it didn't get better. No. I'll be honest. Yeah. We did not get any closer to that utopia we're all hoping for. Fuck me. Oh, dear. Yeah. The world sucks. Yeah, Ooh. a little bit. Oh dear. Anyway, so this is the incredibly depressing episode. Of yeah, it is. Yeah, this is the, I think I've got a title of this. Uh, it's the Chicken Little podcast. The world <laughs> is ending. The sky is falling. Um, yeah, I think you might be accurate. Yeah, I might be. I generally, generally am accurate. Yeah. If not, I just bullied on my point enough to where people stop trying to correct me. Just give up and believe yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, that's. I mean, that's how you prove that you're right. Just go at it with enough conviction. Yeah, if you say it loud enough, then the yeah. louder you say it, the more right you are. No, that's how you speak foreign. Well, that's also true. Yeah. It if, works if, in both situations. If you're British and you're travelling abroad, if the person you're speaking to can't understand you, you speak slower and louder. Yes. That's generally the way it works. Yeah. While you stood there in your football shirt and your white linen shorts Ooh. with your sandals with socks on them. Or flip-flops. Or flip-flops. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Socks and flip-flops. Yeah. It rhymes, but it's not a good idea. Socks and flip-flops shouldn't... I don't think it does work. If you make socks and flip-flops work, that's too hard. Yeah, it's no. too much effort to keep flip-flops on your feet with socks. I, I've never tried, I'll be honest. I, in fact, I very rarely wear flip-flops. I hate flip-flops. I hate them with a passion. Let alone socks and flip-flops. Yeah. Not a big sandal fan either. Socks and sandals is the general old British man uniform. The, and they have to be white socks as well. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. Yeah, if, or at least light colour. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I must say, I, I, when the summer months hit, I'm not a huge fan of sandals either. So, sun's out. I just suffer. S- <laughs> still, still gonna get my trainers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All my boots. Yeah. yeah, I'm still gonna go out wearing my high tops. Okay, yeah. cool. Yep, good. I'm, gl- I'm so glad I had to buy summer shoes. <laughs> yeah. Plus, to be fair, summer here is lasts all of 16 minutes. Yeah, it's just not worth buying new shoes for it. No, I mean, yeah, it's just not really. No. This is probably the most inane ramble of inane ramble. It is. That we've We're had. quite inane this week. I think it's because we've not got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Um, well, I do have I, the reason I was slightly late turning up is because Ooh. I've uh, I have submitted this to be published on YouTube. Oh well, my! No, not YouTube. I'm already on that one. Yeah. Uh, iTunes. Oh, excellent. Yes. Is that what you're doing before you? Yeah, I've got a. I've now got a audio hosting service oh. on a thing. S- well, what is it called? S- s- uh, Scram- scramper? Scramper? No, I don't know. Sc- yeah, Scramper. I on think a thing? Is. Yeah, I think it's... I don't know. It's an audio podcasting place thing. Uh, but it has an RSS feed, which is basically what iTunes need. So yeah. I have an email saying they are looking at it, and they will let me know shortly. How exciting. So this should be... I mean, on this whatever... I'll, I'll link the URL in the um, actual description of the video, because I can't for the love of God remember it. Oh, hang on. I have an email from them here. It is a spreaker. That's it. A spreaker. I know it's a stupid word. That sounds it's... like something you put on your salad. Mm. S P R E A K E R. Spreaker. Okay. Spreaker. Yes. Uh, so it's currently hosted on there where it is available on demand, but I'm mainly going to put it onto iTunes. Excellent. Because so, that is more readily available. Yes. And then some form of, I'm sure Google has an equivalent of some description that I'm unaware Probably. of. Probably. Uh, there's always SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud apparently is not great. Is it not? I no, I've I've watched a few. Well, on the three YouTube videos I watched to find out where to host my thing. They um, all said, "Don't use SoundCloud." Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, they said SoundCloud is an option, but no. Basically, is what they said. It is available, but just no. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so yeah, that was that bit of news. Um, the only other thing is, I basically have taken a week off from publishing videos this week. So apologies for anyone who did try and watch my content this week because I didn't have any that would was, make it very difficult to watch yeah well there's there's, there's 27 other videos up there, 28 so they've got stuff videos. to yeah there's stuff yeah. there go I mean, through the back cap yeah. yeah 
Um, but yeah, I'll go back. I just had needed a week off. I was too busy to edit. That seems entirely fair. That, that I've got, has to happen occasionally. I've got a shit ton of recorded files. I just never got around to actually editing Doing any. anything with them. Yeah, yeah. I've got a, That's entirely fair. I've got about five or six videos waiting in the wing. Uh, two of which are... Well, one of which is us, uh, me and a few friends, uh, including you, Harry. I know you're the only one listening to this. Hey, Harry. Um, doing the Wrath of the Machine on Destiny, the final raid oh, on cool. the latest expansion. Excellent. Which, how, how did that go? Uh, not well. Not well at all, no? Nope. 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 We, uh, we how, how many times did you wipe? Um, oh, carry the 12. Uh, it's, uh, 947. Wow. That give, is... Give or take. Roughly. Yeah. Basically a million. Th- yeah. Anything up to a million or above. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we spent... So we... we I've got... What was it? About... I think about two hours worth of footage. Uh, we did the first half encounter with the boss and then killed the first boss. And then that was it. We ran out of time. Oh. Yep. Oh, well. Yeah. So... That's exciting. That's, uh, that'll be fun to put down into... Oh, so... Video. I have some not particularly interesting news, but it's vaguely related. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Beaters Gaming, which is the gaming mm. group that I'm part of, um, are now recruiting on the Final Fantasy server we play on, which oh, nice. is Phoenix server. Mm-hmm. So it's the free company is called Beaters, uh, and we are recruiting anyone who wants to come along and hang out. We're quite a social guild. We play... I don't play a massive amount, but the others play quite a bit. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, come and hit us up on that server on Final Fantasy, A Realm Reborn. <laughs> and uh, you can listen to us chat this kind of shit, actually, uh, a lot. Just on a public server. On Yeah, and uh, and watch us very haphazardly do dungeons. We're not... The amusing thing, I find, is that we're not bad at dungeons. We're just a... Fu- we get by because G's a really good healer. <laughs> and that's really... Ha- like, I, I'm the tank, mm. and I very rarely bother avoiding AoEs because <laughs> Cause he's, the, he he's good enough that, that I don't have to. It's his fault, really, that I'm lazy. Yeah, basically. Um, and yeah, we're incredibly haphazard. We tend to go into a, a boss that we've not done before, and we'll ask Drew, who's another player, uh, what the tactics are, and he will invariably not remember until halfway through the fight and they go, oh yeah, it does this just as it does whatever this may be. That's pretty much exactly what happened when we did Destiny as well. Yeah, the standard answer is he teleports, floor shit, adds. Yeah, I mean... probably one of those things. I used to play you guys back in World of Warcraft yes, and it was very much the same then. It's like, oh no, stuff will happen. Yeah, nothing's not nothing's really changed. Yeah. What was it? it? When we do it, it's Cataclysm was the main one we did, wasn't it? Cata- yeah, yeah, we played mostly Cata together, I think. Yeah, so Cataclysm was the, if it's purple, don't stand in it. Yes. And then you got Mr. Pandaria, which was if it is green, do stand in it. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't some, play a lot of mists. Yeah, it's just basically if it, if it's purple, don't stand in it. It's basically what cat, cat yeah. was. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, I played a lot of. I quested all the way through mists. I didn't do a lot of the dungeons. I didn't really. I did some kind of stuff. I couldn't on it. really be bothered. I have the Warlords of Draenor one. I logged in and gained two levels, and then went. This is no longer for me. No, I did the same thing, but then I'm like, no, I fancy playing it, and I went and made. I got to level hundred. I'm yeah, say. The and then is, yeah. and then stop playing. Yeah, Ooh, so, good. The first time I, I played it on launch, well, I played it launch day where the fuck all happened. Yeah, obviously. Um, and Oof. then I played it about a week after when shit had calmed itself down yeah. a bit. Uh, I got up two levels and then zoned out and found myself fishing for <laughs> an hour and a half <laughs> on, oh, a, on, a, on a mushroom in Zangamarsh. Of course, I was on voice chat at the time with yeah. John, and I was just like, didn't say anything, uh, and I was just like. What the fuck am I doing? He went, what? I'm like, I've, I've just been sat here for the last hour and a bit, just fishing. He goes, really? I'm like, yep. All right, no, I'm not playing this anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Right. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, if somehow there was a chain of events that led to the best part of my time not exploring the new expansion I've just paid for, it is sitting on a mushroom and fishing. So whatever this game has done to me to think this is the best use of my time it's, currently, yeah. I do not want to play it anymore. I'm out. Yeah, I think that's totally, totally fair. Yeah, so that um, was that was my unceremonious leave from World of Warcraft. We had, a, me and some of the other, John included, had a chat about doing a... Um, an Iron Man. Yes, yeah, you yeah, t- yeah. I was going to get in on that. If yes, you, if yeah, you did it, but yeah. Uh, I realised that I will have to pay the subscription for WoW, mm-hmm. and I just can't justify doing that nope. for a stupid Iron Man challenge. Especially Which, just, if you're only going to be off for like a week. Yeah, that. like I think it might be quite entertaining, but I don't think it's going to be entertaining enough 
for me to spend money. Plus, so if anyone wants to see me do that, send me a month's time card and I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. If you send me in, Harry day. is really the only person that might even consider doing that. <laughs> Harry, pay a month of WoW, and I he will tell He's... you the story of how I hated it. He is so cleansed from World of Warcraft now; he will not do anything. Good. He still is in the Blizzard ecosystem, but is now but not Heroes of the Storm no, and that's, Overwatch. That's fine. Yeah. That's totally fine. I can understand that. I um. I came to the conclusion a little while ago that my favourite expansion was Wrath, Wrath the Lich King. Yes, I think that's pretty much everyone's favourite yeah, expansion. I think it was the most um, Burning challenging. Crusade. Burning Crusade is generally like they're the two that people think of the Burning most. Burning Crusade was all right. Yeah, it was di- it, well, people like it because it was difficult. Like, yeah, you had to grind. You had to try and get the tab art, like the the rep to be able to buy yeah. the key to go do the heroic dungeon. Yeah, and stuff exactly. Like that, so. like, it actually challenged you as a player. Yeah. Um, I think Wrath had the best balance of classes as well. I, I like my Death Knight. I, um, I did like yeah, the Death Knight. Yeah, DKs were fun. Um, and then it seems to have gone kind of downhill. Kata was almost good. There were some nice things in Cataclysm. <laughs> yeah, it was just... It was too easy. Yeah. Yeah, it, a lot of the dungeons were easy mode. Yeah, it was just like... If, when you can go through and just pull an entire area and just yeah. sit on them. Yeah. Plus Blood Death Knights in... Oh, that's missed... Was that... No, that was Cat. What's the one that had Time Siles? That was Cataclysm, wasn't it? No, that was Mist. Was it Mist? Uh, mm-hmm. Hang on. No, it was Cataclysm because I didn't do that in Mist. It might. Mm. No, it was Mist. No, it, it was, was Mist. It was Mist. Yeah, Mists, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was Mist. Yeah, that was that was when the Blood Death Knights got insanely oh, was that when they got, stupid. Yeah, yeah, they like got over super a million buffed. health. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. they were they were funny to play those ones. <laughs> yeah. But I used uh, Forever Frost because I want to hit things with two hammers. Yeah. Because it's better. That's, that's totally fair. And also my Shaman because I have fist weapons and fist weapons are just the best. Fist weapons are the best, but WoW never gave you them. good fist weapons. No. Like, it's like your character can use fist weapons, but there's really no advantage to doing so. Yeah. Occasionally a good one will pop up for a while, but you'll probably get a dagger or an axe. Yeah. That's and they're better. kind of all ugly. There's, yeah, I have one I which was like a chittering bug hand thing. Yeah, that was I think really there's cool. about three good-looking fist weapons in the whole game. A lot of Miss Pandaris fist weapons were just knuckle dusters. Yeah, exactly, like, and that's just disappointing, right? I'm a fucking like, element. No. I'm an enhancement shaman with fucking fire floating around me and totems and shit. Give me a massive Give me, yeah, flaming I don't want, fist or something. I don't want to punch someone with brass. I can't go up and punch a dragon in the face with brass knuckles. No. Yeah. But apparently you expected that's why transmogging was good at least. Yes, so you could go good. find the good looking fist weapon and then make your thing look like it. Yeah, yeah, that and you could go get old raid gear and make it yes, look like it. Yes, I as soon as they brought that in, I went and got the old judgment set and my paladin was dressed in judgment from that point on. I remember doing a Nixia runs with you to help you get yes, the judgment. To get the, yes, yeah. yeah. Oh god, we had to do loads, didn't we? Yep, because you go and do one a week. Yes. But, I would, see, that was actually quite good fun. So doing vanilla World of Warcraft yeah. in, doing, in Cataclysm. Yeah. Right, or, yeah. Or no, in Mists or whatever yeah. it was. being overpowered and rerunning vanilla that, World, World of Warcraft was... That fun. was even that was before they even redid Anixia. That was just going back into old Anixia. Yeah, literally it. old Anixia. Yeah. yeah. Good that, was, that was silly. That was, that was silly. silly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. Um, oh, wow, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I've I've been trying to get back into gaming, but all my time has just gone into playing Forza currently. I've fallen back into five years Which ago. Which Forza are we Forza on six. now? Forza 6. Forza Motorsport 6. Currently, Forza 7 will be out later this year, so okay. I'm kind of getting ready for the new Prepping Forza, yourself. basically. Yeah. And when I do have my own living arrangement, I will be investing in a racing setup. Ooh. Yes. It's nice. not cheap. It's definitely not cheap. No, I can imagine it's probably not. A decent steering wheel is about £400. Bloody hell. And then the rig to put it on is probably about the same. So you could buy a car? Oh, yeah. Buy well, an actual car for the price of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I can't go as fast in the game as I can. Like, I can't go fast in the car that I buy as I can in the game. Well, no, that's true. And also doing that means I have to buy things like petrol. Yes, that's all. Well, I mean... In a way, you have to buy petrol. It's called electricity. Yeah, I know, but you get oh, much, mind blown. much better miles per gallon out of uh, the cars <laughs> in Forza than out of the real one if we're going on the cost uh, of electricity versus, versus cost of I petrol. I suppose you're probably right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we know. I have uh, Mass Effect. Yes, that's the one. Mass Effect yep. uh, Andromeda uh, sat on my shelf. Waiting and, to never be played. Yeah, I've done the prologue. I've turned up at the new Citadel thing and haven't gone back to I've it I mean like yo I'm here yeah it's just one of the things I'm just like I really need to go back and play that but I just want to play Forza because I'm like looking driving. forward to Destiny 2 yes because Nathan Fillion was in cool in the advert Nathan Fillion is in the original one uh, yes yes he was yeah, yeah I think we've had this discussion before yes he's Cade uh, but he was just cool in the advert like yes 
Because you've got you've got the oh, what's the his big name? rousing speech from Bluehead. Uh, Var Bluehead something or other. What's his name? Harry's going to kill me for this. Uh, yeah, one of the I think it's the Titan. Sure. Vanguard leader person. Yes. It, yeah, I think you're right. Actually, uh, he begins with a V, if I remember right. He's going giving a proper em, uh, emotional speech, uh, and then you've got Cade going. Look, they they've taken our shit. The Let's guy we've got to kill is called Gary. I want to say Gary. I want to say Gary. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was a it was a cool teaser, and yeah, looking. F- um, they have uh, Blizzard have done quite a good job of keeping Destiny alive. They they, at least for people who are collectorholics like me, because they mm. just keep giving me books to complete and which give me trinkets. <laughs> so it's like I do this thing. That. I'm like, mm, okay. I will do that thing. <laughs> well, if you do enough things, you can get this thing. It's a mystery box. You don't know what's <gasps> in it. It's a, mystery. a mystery box. Yeah, I know. Oh and then it's like, God. oh, I want the mystery box. Mm. So I go and do it, and then I get a mystery box, and it turns out to not be as good as the mystery that I thought it was. No, obviously, right. like, I don't think it ever will be, right? It'll no. never live up to, no, no. to what it could have been. Yeah, but yeah, I, I mean, I do like Destiny. Destiny has always been one thing to me. It's it's a better version of Halo. Yeah, I think that's a fair shout. Like, like, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Halo. <coughs> and uh, and obviously we have... We should go back to that, actually. Again, once, once I've got a uh, set up on it, we yeah. will be doing Drinking Halo. Drinking Halo, okay. Yeah. Are we going to record ourselves replaying Halo yes. while getting drunk? Is what you're yes. saying? Yes. So we're going to have similar setup to this, but we're recording the capture, and I'll also set up a I GoPro am or something. Fine with that plan. Torch. That sounds great. Torch. Torch. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know, Halo switched its control method between Halo. All of them. Halo One, Halo Two, yeah, and Halo yeah, it Three. Changed every time, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Halo One, Two, and Three all have slightly different. Slightly control. different. Like one similar. and two is the biggest difference. Yes. Mm, yeah, and the yeah one is awful. So we decided a little while ago. We decided to replay the the whole series because it's got um, four thousand achievements that I haven't accessed yet. Exactly. So. Um, and we had most recently played. I had most recently played ODST, I think. Yeah. And you had most recently played probably the newest one. No, I haven't played Halo Five at all. I've got oh, okay, I've got twenty minutes into Halo Four. Ah, so yeah. I got come on, I got the Master Chief Edition to finish Halo Four on my Xbox One because I refused yeah. to turn my three sixty back on. Fair. Uh, and then still never touched it. Excellent. Uh, but because of that, I'm not going to do Halo Five until I've done Halo Four. But I've no yeah. desire to play Halo Four. So you're never going to play <laughs> Halo Five. Got I'm you. stuck in a Halo paradox. Well, I think we probably will have to. Yeah. It'll probably be more fun if we're drunk. Oh yeah, it's um, gonna, well every time we fuck up or die or kill each other, we'll be have a drink. So. Oh god. Yeah. So we messy. didn't know what the buttons would do, so we would repeatedly turn on torches instead of reload. Me- yeah, reload or melee, melee instead and- of grenade, or in a lot of cases, particularly me, grenade instead of torch. Yes, but- generally the grenade would also end up on my face because I always pick up stickies. Because who doesn't pick up the sticky no, grenades? Sticky. And apparently Niff was always just in front of me when I wanted to turn my torch on. And the best moment, which I'm so so annoyed we didn't <laughs> record was when we somehow managed to simultaneously beat each other down in a room full of elites. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, instantly, we both decided to melee the same elite who both missed. Who dodged, at, didn't he? Like yeah, a little he, bitch. he did the whole elite duck yeah. roll thing. <laughs> and we just managed to melee each other and kill ourselves. And the room was still... We didn't kill anyone in that room. We it was ran, amazing. ran straight in. Because Halo 1 is also very stingy on ammo, we found out. Yes. If yeah, you're running it is, on isn't it? Yeah, if you're running on co-op, they don't... I, I don't think they up the ammo drops. No. So you have to run two people on one person's yeah. worth of ammo. So we were meleeing as much as possible. You have to hit a lot of shit and throw yeah. a lot of grenades. Yeah. And yeah, it's, I mean, obviously we're doing a grump birthday party on because it's the best skull. Because it is. It's the only, it's probably the only skull really worth using. Yeah. Unless you're trying to get the achievements on Header 3 where Screw you have to run it with like... Um, I can't remember what it's called, Blackout or something like that, where you don't have the HUD and oh, okay, stuff like yeah. that. And Volley, where they throw more grenades. And yeah. yeah, there are a couple of achievements that you need to do that with. But yeah, I mean, Halo for me has not really been Halo since Halo Reach. As soon as Bungie left, it's yeah. it, it just never felt the same. I actually genuinely think Halo 1 was the best Halo. Uh, it's between Halo 2, because the, it was... The time that it came out, it was just the game that you played on Xbox Live. If you had Xbox Live, yeah, yeah you went home true. and you played Halo The 2. multiplayer on Halo 2 was better. About 80% of my friends list on my Xbox, were f- I've, I became friends with them through Halo 2. Yeah. Um, even including TJ, who a friend of mine lives in Detroit. Yeah. Um, met him randomly. He ended up in a random lobby, mm-hmm. a random game with us. In a, It was a private game. It was a friend of a friend. Just ended up being in a custom yeah. game we were playing. I can't even remember what it was. It's probably just a break the map game, mm-hmm. knowing me. Um, and yeah, we just ended up being friends from there. To the point where he came over from Detroit to Folkestone and slept on John's sofa for yes, a month. Yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, and then we lost him. 
We found him again yeah. since, but yeah, during thankfully. that time he was with us, we did lose he him. He did disappear for yes. a while. Yeah. Apparently he caught a seagull as well. Ah, good on him. With, with his hands, with bare hands. Not as good on him. No. I hope he washed them. Yeah, well, he apparently grabbed it by the foot and it was just sort of flapping. And he's like, I have no idea what to do with it now, so just let go. Well, I, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, that's a complete nice thing now. Yeah. In folks, and generally you'd hit it with a brick and put it in a stew. Yes. Is what you would do at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, take it to a cafe or something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, I've got a bird... Yeah. make food yeah um, so yeah for my money Halo 1 is the best Halo Halo yeah. 2 Halo 2 for the multiplayer Halo 3 I think had a better story so <laughs> Halo 2 I actually admitting something dark about my past oh I used to Jay's getting broody I used to Brooding, pirate broody. games huh? I'm such a bad did human you have being. a chipped Xbox I had a chipped Xbox I even chipped Xboxes for other people <sighs> Um, was this not when you worked for a certain manuf- uh, certain proprietor of the electronics industry? I, I may have done at the time. You can say the name, they don't exist anymore. They, they do. Oh, was it that one? I yeah. Thought, so, uh, not Electronics Boutique at the time then? No. No. No, it was the other one at the, the time. The other one. Um, I did, <laughs> but even though the discount from them was very generous, mm. um, in fact... More from my point of view, you you couldn't get the super obscure stuff mm. through them. Yeah, like, there's a lot of Japanese RPGs and stuff you couldn't Bla- get hold like of. The whole um, what do you call it, like Blasbu series. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dragon um, and, tons yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So that's why I may have chipped my Xbox, and also just because it was really good fun. Yeah, just really enjoyed doing it. Um, but because of that, I managed to get a copy of Halo Two like three months before it came out. And this is back before Xbox could ban you. Yeah, How- uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, numbers, yeah. yeah. Uh, however. My copy of X of Halo Two was in French, <laughs> so I played the entire game, not understanding anything, not having a clue what was going on. It's fine. The story in Halo Two is shit anyway. So. Um, all I remember is there is a token plant boss. Yes, because there is. there's always a token. Grave mind. Yeah, is, always, is that his name? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, Grave mind. Le Grave Mind Day. <laughs> yeah, Le Grande Tet. No, Master the Big Head Chef. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was all. I think it's great mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's great mind. It's all yeah, it is great mind. Yeah. yeah, no, it was all super confusing for me. And then obviously when the actual game came out, I was like, well, I finished it on all the difficulty settings. There's no point in me playing it again in English just so I can hear the story. Yeah, I mean, so I never did. To be fair, the Halo Two single player was written and created in six months, so it's yeah, not, it's so it's not, not great. Really ideal. And it has so in fact, actually, yeah, like the first when we played it through, yeah, that was the first time I'd heard it in English. Did we do, did we get to Halo Two? We, we started Halo Two. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember because we did we the got escape. stuck. Yeah, we got because it glitched out. Yeah, we escaped. I remember we were escaping the ring, and it was you fell out, and then I said, "I can't." I, I, yeah, I, it I, checkpointed as I died. Yeah, and then you had kept to fly flying. around in the ghost. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah. Taking on two people's worth of mobs. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, in yeah. one already yeah. fucked up ghost. Yeah, and it yeah. was irritating. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. so we stopped. And there was a wraith as well involved, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. basically, you were screwed. Yeah, it's there like, was oh, no. This is, an, this is an unwinnable checkpoint. Fantastic. Yeah. And I watched you try a whole load of times. Yeah, uh, yeah I and probably I spent think... about half hour trying to do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not not bad at Halo. Like Halo Two. No, no. Back in my day, Halo Two was my jam. Yeah, like I was mm, jam. on. I was on point with my sniper rifles. Yeah, fucking love my sniper rifles. Still to this day, I have the, one of the best. I would say memories, hazy, hazy recollections, because I was rather inebriated at the time. Mm. Was going down John's brother's house and playing Halo Three. Yeah, I want to say. Um, and I, I honestly couldn't see straight. I was playing the game with one eye. I was that yeah. drunk. Uh, I was still hitting John's brother between the eyes with a sniper rifle. Beautiful. It, it was not John. I couldn't hit anything else. But just as soon as brother. I saw Mike, just bam. bang. <laughs> yeah, and he was getting so angry. I bet. So angry. And I was like, Man, I can't. I can't even see right now. <laughs> but I can see you. Yeah. It was so on the uh, on the chipped Xbox front, I chipped my mate's Xbox and. I I chipped quite a load of them, but for mm-hmm. some reason, basically the chips sat on the motherboard, and yeah, you had yeah. a little thin wire that came out of them, and had to poke yeah. into a, a particular tiny soldered hole, yeah. um, which was surrounded by very, tons of others. Very important electronics. As well, yeah, yeah, so like you had to get it in exactly the right spot, which took us. We, we chipped his Xbox over twelve hours. <laughs> I would say eight of which were figuring out which of these sodding holes it was meant to be in <laughs> and then trying to get it to stay there Yeah, because he didn't want it soldered in because he right. wanted the option to remove it okay. so he could go online. You do so know you can buy old, desoldering equipment. The old... Yeah, we didn't have much money. That's why we were chipping I, I bought I bought a desolder pump the other day for two ninety nine. Dude, this is when the Xboxes were out. 
Yeah, I know, but a desoldering pump is just a vacuum thing with a button on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, never expensive. If the, the Harvey just had roll them, with it. The right. Harvey had them. If the Harvey had them, they're not expensive. Well, I should have gone to the Harvey and stolen it. We should have. Yeah. Anyway, so we spent a good eight hours trying to figure out exactly where the hell this tiny, tiny wire was meant to poke and make it stay in there. Mm-hmm. Um... And then eventually we got it, and we discovered that when we put the put it all back together and put the lid back on, yep. he had to poke something in the side vent to nudge something that then nudged the wire to make it continue connecting. <laughs> so for the rest of the life of that Xbox, he had to have it... Um, he had it sat on a thing with a, um, a magic card yep. stuck in the side that... That made the connection. That nudged something to nudge but something. But that had to be balanced on a screwdriver. Because <laughs> that was just exactly the right height for it. Yeah. It had this little contraption of, of things balanced next to it. Which was all well and good. It worked. It did exactly what you want. And because if he moved the magic card, it disconnected. It, so he could go yeah. online. So yeah. it kind of worked. Yeah, it's best of both worlds. Yeah. Two months later, after we'd spent 12 hours sorting this fucking thing out... Two months later, his flat got broken into and someone stole it. <laughs> which he was enraged about until he realised they hadn't stolen the card or the screwdriver. So, they, so they, it's like, it won't work! Yeah. <laughs> the fools! <laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. Um, on that note, Harry will remember uh, one of my almighty king bodge jobs. Mm. Uh, so we all used to go up Harry's and play games. Yeah. Uh, and we had like land nights in effect, but with Xboxes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've done that. Uh, local split screen nights, yeah, basically. Yeah. And it was, again, it was playing Halo 2, because yes. that was just what you played. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I went up there, and it was the old um, VGA cable days with the old uh, white, yellow, and, yeah. and red cables yeah. into your scarp. Uh, the video cable... Or a video portion, portion the yellow socket of my, yeah. your your red, yellow, and your whites, uh, wasn't wasn't sending video. I was getting right. audio, right. and I was getting everything out. Like I was getting everything, but it wasn't showing video. Yeah, uh, we didn't have another cable because obviously the, on, on the inside yeah. of the Xbox is a proprietary thing that plugs it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't have a spare one of them. Obviously, no. Um, we tried different SCART adapters, but it's not gonna, nothing. Yeah. No, it was it was the it was the, the actual, actual cable. cable. So I. Spliced apart the yellow cap- the yellow cable. I cut the yep. entire plug off, so I had just the little gold shroud thing that goes over the scar yep. plug. Yeah. So I had the I had the live the earth and the shroud. Yeah. Separated all of them for so the live internal cable with the um, ground surround yep. outside. Merged it all together with some kind of it was a hybrid of I didn't have a soldering iron. I had blue tack <laughs> and I had electrical cable, so electrical tape. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and we played for seven hours. Got it working. Wonderful. And I still have that cable. Amazing. St- still works as well. That's fantastic. I, have, I plugged it into my, when I moved back to my parents. I plugged it into my Xbox just yeah. to see. Still works. That's that's ingenuity. That man. is. That's there's the one that's a blue tack. Yeah, blue tack is amazing. Blue tack. As I was saying, I remember I was a beast with a shotgun on. Uh, everyone's a beast with a shotgun. Yeah. Well, yeah, but to the point it really pissed everyone off. So I changed my name. To Shotgun Sally. <laughs> <laughs> the older, uh, was it six ninety nine? Change name, was it? Or two ninety nine? I forget. Oh, no. I, on... Well, if you get, no, you get enough of your friends to report you for a bad name, and then you get a free name Well, on, on Halo Mer, LAN, you could set your... Which Halo was Oh, it? on was LAN. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah, you, you just be your change own... your guest thing, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, you so can make it, like, yeah. you can on, like, Smash and stuff. You just make yeah. your profile. Yeah, I remember. That was, yes, be, yeah. It's Halo 1. I don't think you can do that on Halo 2. You just end up being guest of. Yeah, I think like, you're right, yeah. It, for mine, it was, like, guest of and if 3431. We had a game two, called three. Uh, Death From Above. Yep. Where you got the plasma sword and you went to the highest point. You got the plasma sword and the active camo. Mm-hmm. You went to the highest point you could on the map. And then try to fall off it onto somebody, uh-huh. and if you use the power sword charge, you didn't take the full uh, damage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. you would just stab them in the head and survive. But the key is that you, as you jumped, you had to shout "death from, from above. above." Yeah. So everyone in the house could hear it, which started being "death from above," yeah. and rapidly just turned into "dip da da" <laughs> as you jumped off of things. And then uh, Trey Parker heard you, and, and that became "they took the their derbs." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, Rob Schneider is a carrot <laughs> in the carrot. I uh, fucking love South Park. It's 24 carrot comedy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rob um, Schneider is <laughs> <laughs> in the doop de 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 doop de
Um, oh, we're getting sued now. Yeah. the uh, We had a similar game in Halo 2, which yep. was, I think TJ actually either made it or encountered it, because with Halo 2, you'd make your custom games. Yes. You'd have friends of friends come in, and then that's how games spread, like yeah. zombies. Yeah. Um, so, so we had one, which is AVP, which mm-hmm. is essentially the same thing, active camo and, and sword. Yeah. But you had a pistol as your secondary weapon. Yeah. And you had to run through the whole game. So it, it, was, a, it was Juggernaut, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you were the Juggernaut, your Juggernaut-specific skills were... You had active camo, yep. and you had the sword and a pistol. Yeah, you could. You, if you were a marine, you had to use the pistol. Yeah, um, you couldn't use grenades. Mm-hmm. If you were the um, juggernaut, you had to use the sword, but you could camouflage yourself by holding the pistol. Yeah, and cool. we always played on midship. <laughs> apart yes. from yeah. apart from on when we remade it in Halo Three, we played it on Zanzibar a couple of times as well because I do love. We Zanzibar. had. On Zanzibar was the beachy one, wasn't Zanzibar it? Zanzibar was the one with a giant, giant fan. wheel. We had a game on there called Real War, mm-hmm. where you just remove all the shields, and everyone just has one life. Yep. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we had a game called Oddball, which involved that's the skull. The, that's the pre-made... That is called Oddball, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it a pre-made one? Oddball. Oddball is the pre-made game type of holding the skull. Yeah, I think our version... I can't remember if our version of it was changed or not. So when you held the skull, uh-huh. you were visible uh-huh. and slow. Yeah, yeah. When you yeah. weren't holding the skull, you were invisible. You were invisible that is and custom, had rocket yeah. launchers. Yeah, that's custom. That's, cu- yeah, that's custom, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you'd be running around invisible with a rocket launcher and then somebody would suddenly pop up mm. and then you would just... Fire these rockets would come in from Thrush. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I've got the skull. Oh Gosh. no! <laughs> the um, did you ever used to do a thing where you could drop your guns if you had oddball? Yes. So you yeah. fully charge the, plas- the plasma cannon. Yeah. And then quickly, oh, what was it? Grab the skull and press change weapon. Yeah. And you just dropped everything. Yeah. And you're just running around looking like kind of like a T-Rex your yeah. hands like, your hands were there as if you were holding the skull but yeah. there was nothing there but there was nothing Yeah, and that's how they recorded a lot of the uh, RVB stuff how is just it? by doing that ah. yeah. hmm, interesting yeah so all of the Halo 2 stuff where they're not holding anything yeah. a, lot, a lot of the times they have weapons yeah, but yeah, there are so some scenes where they don't Yeah, um, and they use the, the skull trick to, to do that which is pretty so, cool yeah um one of the one of my other favourite games I only ever really played it with one other person mm. which was uh, my mate Salvador um, and that was Blind. Yeah. Which is, we only ever played at Ivory Tower. Mm-hmm. It is full active camo. Yeah. Pistols. Yeah. Uh, no radar. <laughs> so it's just, it, it's basically just an empty map and you yeah. just run around. Yeah. I never lost a game of blinds <laughs> to him and it used to annoy him so goddamn much. He would always challenge me to blind. And it wouldn't. It was just like just I mean, waiting yeah, to finish. You. Yeah, it's just like I will get you this time. It got to points like Sal, do you really like? I mean, yeah, I'll play it with you, mate. I don't. I love the game, but, but do you really want to go really through this? Want, like, you haven't. It's like no, no. I want to win. I want to win. I will win. I'm like, all right, mate. We'll give <laughs> it a go. Right, crack on. I let him get to 23 out of 25, um, <laughs> and yeah, then I killed him. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, you got to bait him a little bit, really. Yeah, obviously. You? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I miss Halo Two. Halo Two is. So it's probably the pinnacle of uh, multiplayer yeah, online shooters so. for me, anyway. Yeah, I had a huge amount of fun on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and yes, Modern Warfare Modern Wa- 2. Yeah, or Call of Duty 4 yes. Modern Warfare. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, was, I, think, I do want to play I that again. Most but people ref- agree that it's, it's one the, of best the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do want to play it again, but I refuse to buy Infinite Warfare to be able to do it. No, well, yeah, I think that's even, totally fair. Because even the, the times I've seen it on shit. sale, I'm like, ah, it's twice. What was it? Nine, I think it was nineteen ninety nine to get Infinite Warfare and get the the expansion for the COD Four remake. I'm yeah. Like, mm, no. No, I don't. I, I I just want. I don't want to have to buy a license for a game that I'm not going to play just to play the part I want to play because they know people will do it. So I'm like, no, fuck you. Yeah, I ain't doing it. I think that's fair. Uh, there's not. Yeah, I'm trying to think of it. All the other games. I mean, Forza One. I used to put a lot of time into the Forza's by far away the one I've probably sunk the most time into. Yeah. Other than Halo Two. Yeah, that's fair. Forza 3, I probably spent... I think my clock time was over 150 hours in it. Um, same again, if not more, in Forza 4. Mm-hmm. 5 kind of dropped off, because that's with the Xbox One, and I wasn't playing too much. Yeah, fair. And even now in 6, I've, I've already done nearly 2,000 miles of driving on that game, and I've only really been playing it for the last week and a half, two weeks. It's quite so, a lot of driving. It's a lot of driving. It's a lot of driving. I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of the... More sim based. That's the, the they're the only things I hate. The arcade ones like Burnout See, I'm, and stuff I'm like that. Quite the opposite. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the arcade ones. Need for Speed. The only ones I like are the Shift series. 
because uh, they are yeah. a bit more realistic. Yeah. See, ne- I love Need for Speed, Need for Speed Underground too. Oh yeah, Nug Two is is, the is king. as far as I can say is the best because it had the best modding for a start. Mm-hmm. Um, or, and it just felt really good. The only other one uh, generally is regarded as most wanted, the original version of most wanted. Yes, yeah. The one yeah. with the chrome BMW M3 yeah. on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, that kind of brought back a lot of. It was Need for Speed Underground two in an open world, basically. Yeah, exactly. Was, like, yeah, with better graphics. Um, burnout three. Paradise, yeah. Or no, Burnout no, no, three. Not, burnout burnout three yeah. was the best Burnout, and also had an amazing soundtrack. It did. Uh, that was um, a good one. Yeah. And that's the one where you have to. Was it Wreckfest or whatever it's called, where you just drive your car? Yeah, where well, they had a junction that you just drove into, into and caused make... as much damage as possible. Yeah, that was that loads was good. of fun. Did enjoy that game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what other games did I used to sink a lot of my time into? I just pretty much it. Wow. Yeah, World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. Um, and League of Legends. After that, I just yeah. put a lot of time into League of Legends. Played over. Well, I've won over a thousand games with League, League wow. of Legends, and I've lost nine hundred and seventy something. And that's <laughs> just in the normal games. So yeah. I, bear in mind, each game is on average about thirty-five minutes. Yeah, it's, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of minutes. That's a lot of time. It's not anywhere close to my World of Warcraft playtime, though. No, because there was—I can't even remember the name of it now. The one that used to log your game times and stuff. I used to. It was the very much the predecessor to things like um, Teamspeak because it had voice hosting oh, service. Um, e- X Fire. That's what I'm X Fire. Uh, when I when I logged out of X Fire for the final time, I had over, I think I want to say over four thousand hours of World of Warcraft. Wow. Yeah, a lot of that is menu time, and a lot of time of that is me not play- not being there. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I mean, obviously you could you could do slash played on your character. Yeah, that but that only tells you the amount of like this tells you how much time World of Warcraft has been open on your yeah, computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, that was quite scary to see. But I'm yeah, like, you kind of don't want to think about that. No, do you? well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's that or heroin. So, well. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, but as you say, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's more heroin. Generally, from what I hear, heroin is more than eight ninety nine a month. I think so. I think so. yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's more. Like, than I, don't, I don't know. I think it's more than eight ninety nine an hour. There might be honest. some sort of uh, like unlimited heroin package that you could buy. Well, free like um, a frequent flyer kind of. thing. Yeah, maybe yeah. like a one off. Yeah. Lump of money, but then you have heroin. You don't want to. You don't want a one off lump of heroin. That's, quite that's, short life. Yeah, I was going to say a one off lump of heroin is a good recipe to overdose. Yeah. Yeah. Do they sell heroin in lumps? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. I was like, or is it a, like a, a lump of heroin, please? Oh, sir. Yes, one of your finest lumps, heroin lumps, please. Yeah. Do you have a? I would like a small lump. Yeah. So they, do they come in small, medium, and large? I assume. Small, medium, and grande. And in grande. Fact. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. An Americano one. Yeah. It's a black heroin. I'd have uh, a latte heroin, please. Is it the one that makes you froth at the mouth? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, the one. that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, neither myself nor Nick are heroin. Aficionados. Yeah, I was going to say users. Aficionado sounds uh, better. It does. It's because it's a big word, and big words obviously make you sound more intellectualist. They certainly do. The more bigger words you can use... The smarter you are. Exactly. Yeah. Emphasis on the smarter Yes. Right, so one other thing I thought is yeah. Harry gave me a lot of shit... Oh, did he? ...about our pathetic attempt at Star Wars knowledge. Oh, fuck off! Harry, it, it, did I mean, you listen to the questions? Some of them. He, are... he did chastise you a lot for thinking Christopher Lee was Grand Moff Tarkin, considering Christopher Lee is Count Dooku. Yeah, I got my old horror <laughs> stars mixed up. Give me a break. So they're both aged and well spoken. I've I've grabbed a completely different pile okay. of cards because the, the game questions comes like... were super obscure. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? Is each card has six questions in it? Yeah. Rather than random us choosing to get rid yeah. of that bias, we'll start reading from the top and work our way down. Okay. First person to get three on a card wins that okay. card. Yeah. First first person to five card wins. Okay. So conceivably, fifteen questions it could win you the game. Okay. So right. so I'll pass you this one. Me. As he leans across the room, thank you very much. Oh, I saw you looking down my top and my glamorous breasts. I did. It's the hair on them that really does it for me. Yeah, I glistened. Everyone loves a hairy cleavage. Yeah, I uh, glistened them with goose fat just for you. Ooh. Delectable. So, do you want to start or shall I start? Uh, you go. I go. So, question one. What do troopers put on Chewbacca after he throws a fit in the carbon freezing chamber? Like, manacle type things. Manacle type things. Uh, binders or handcuffs? I'll give you that. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, the next one is, what planet 
are Jedi told to report to in a coded message luring them to certain death. Oh, Christ. So what planet are Jedi told to report to in a coded message luring them to certain death? This is from uh, the Prilogy. Yes, it is from, it the, is the, from the Prilogy. And again, that's quite an obscure question. I, I, I thought I knew it, but I didn't. Yeah. It's, uh, it, uh, yeah I'm not going to give you too much, because this is a competitive quiz. This is a competitive quiz. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to pass, because I just gonna don't pass. know. Okay, cool. Can you uh, tell me the answer, though? Uh, so the I answer is Coruscant. Oh, it's a place I've heard of. That's yeah. a start. I thought it was Mustafar, but mm. that wasn't. That's where he told the Separatists to No, go. that was Simba's dad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so question the third who assures Darth Vader that the rebel shield on Hoth will be down in moments this is a very obscure one <laughs> but it's the trilogy so it is in, tri- your, yeah, it's it's like, in your ballpark it is my ballpark but it's, do you know your miscellaneous imperial characters not very well no oh Harry also reportedly um, advises us that uh, Wedge Survives the entire of the series and lives long into the New Republic. Oh, uh, my response well done, was Wedge. "fuck you, Wedge." Yeah, Wedge is a prick. Fuck you, Wedge. Um, <laughs> uh, um, admiral, I'm probably wrong. It's not even an admiral. No, it's, wait, he only not, talks to an admiral. It's not an admiral. Oh, okay, I don't. So know you him. failed that question. It's yeah. General Veers. No, oh God, I was going to say Admiral Veers. Were you? <laughs> Genuinely, I was. Well, he's um, the only admiral I know. Well, he's not. He's Except ge- for he's not. He's a general, yeah, but still. So, unfortunately, if you had said Admiral Veers, it would still be wrong because you yes. grossly got his rank overinflated. God damn. Uh, question the fourth. Who blasts the left stabiliser off Obi-Wan's fighter as he flies towards General Grievous's flagship? Some dick. Some dick. Uh, oh, no, it was... Um, uh, You're not wrong. Jango Fett. No, 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 no. Jango Fett is not in episode three when he's flying towards General Grievous's ship. Oh, Jango shit. Fett no, dies he's in, in, in episode two. He's in episode two, two isn't he? Yes, Sorry, no, it, got it, my episodes you, wrong. You were right when he said some dick, because it's Anakin Skywalker. Oh, it is some dick. Yeah, because he shoots off with the little spider droids. Uh, Does he? I don't yeah, care. The little yellow Those testicle. films are dead to me. <laughs> uh, question the fifth. What vehicle does Luke Skywalker take down with a harpoon gun and a landmine? Um, an Atat. It is an Atat or an Imperial Walker. Yeah. And question the six: Is it an what- Atat? This is this is genuinely a bone of contention. Yeah, Atat apparently. or AT AT. Yeah, is it an Atat or an AT AT? I generally am more in the school of AT AT. Yeah, but I don't always, also don't care. Yeah, like I I really respect that response. It's like I say AT AT, but who gives a fuck? I say Atat, but also who gives a fuck? Yeah, I I reply it to if I'm talking about that thing. Like then you said Atat, I replied with Atat because yeah. I'm not gonna yes an AT AT because it just sounds weird. I once when I was working for a certain company that we've already alluded to, the proprietor of electronic entertainment yes. goods, uh, yeah. a man came in for an Ethernet cable. Okay, now or, or a Cat Five. Yes. Um, we were discussing said product, yep. and I was referring to it as an Ethernet cable because, mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned, the word ether, ether. is pronounced ether. ether. And was he was he an is, ether person? Was he? He was an ether person, and every time I said Ethernet, Ethernet, under his breath, he'd go Ethernet. Ethernet. Yeah. Every damn time, I do that at work now just to piss off. If people are pissing me off and they keep saying the wrong word, I just say the right word at them. Yeah. See, I started. Saying Ethernet, uh, Ethernet cable way more than I needed to in the conversation, yeah, yeah. just to make him continue saying that. Did you say that it connects you to the ether? I, I didn't make that part. The ether. and also, would you like to buy this bottle of ether? Ether, ether. Yeah. Right. So, if you get this question right, it gets you the card, and I have to beat six on the next card to win. Okay. This round. Right. Uh, so, uh, what planet was depicted in the scenes shot on the location in Naples? Famed Caserta Royal Palace. Oh yeah, I mean I can gather that from from that bit. Yeah. So basically, what what planet was depicted in scenes shot in, in Naples? Right. So, okay. Yeah. Um, basically, it's, it, it, there is a natural place, but it, yeah. that's irrelevant to the question. Oh, I'm going to get my planets right now. Is it Naboo? It is Naboo. Hey. So you, you win the card on six questions. Uh, just put it over there. I'll, put it, I'll keep yeah. it here for you. Okay. So. So I've got to try and beat this in six questions, and yeah. I technically will be kind of in the lead. Sure. <laughs> so you keep score. Tell yeah. me at the end who wins. Okay, cool. That can't go wrong for me in any way. No. <laughs> <clears throat> what T word mm-hmm. does the officer in the Death Star's detention area use in reference to Chewbacca? Oh, God, I don't fucking know. Um... <sighs> uh, I don't know. It's a... 
tea cosy? <laughs> if only. Yeah. Uh, it's thing. Oh, that's not that's, a very exciting question. That's a really weirdly worded question. That's, yeah, as well. yeah. I was expecting tosser or something like that, but yeah. no. Uh, who tells Qui Gon Jinn to bring Anakin before the Jedi Council? Um, bring him before the council. I want to say Mace Windu. Yes, it is. Yeah. Boom. Who's the first person to address the Senate about the Trade Federation's invasion of Naboo? Uh, first person to address them. Yep. Um, oh, it depends what the count is address. Uh, it is Senator Palpatine is the first one because he brings up Senate, yep. Senate Queen Amidala later on. Yep. Yeah, nailed it. See, these are all prelogy questions. Yeah. Well, no, two, or two, three two, two, two or three so far. Yeah. Uh, what duo must never again leave this city, according to Vader's initial deal with Lando? Uh, what duo? Yeah. So basically, what two characters? I feel and duo it, is a bit of a misleading way of putting it. Must never leave. Yeah, cause it, I mean, it makes it sound like they are the, like the the dynamic duo. Yeah, so yeah. They, these like, two operate only together. Yes. Um, will never leave this city. Uh, so basically, he says these two characters must never leave this city. I'm going to say Luke because he tried to kill him in in Cloud City. Mm-hmm. Um, is that one of the two? So can, no. I, can I just stop now? We can just stop now. That's yeah. not one of the two. Okay. It's Chewbacca and Leia. Uh, okay, which is why I said it's misleading because I would say uh, yeah. When you duo, it's Han and Chewie. It's Han and Chewie or R two D two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what color is the oh, God? What color is the paint mm-hmm. on the Starfighter Anakin Skywalker flies onto General Grievous's flagship? Uh, in Anakin's one is yellow. Dickhead. <laughs> Every one's is red and white. They're dead to me, those films. <laughs> and also, even if they were, I still wouldn't know. Cool. So that's three questions right out three of questions right. five. Yeah. One so left. This, so this is I'm hinging s- it for the tie or the lead. Yes. Who describes Luke as a as quite clever for a human being? Quite clever. Uh, Luke. Yeah. Someone describes Luke as quite clever for a human being. Yoda. Nope. C3PO. Ah. We're tied. Yeah. So your card can go there. Right, next. So... A uh, question the first on card of the second. Who expresses either joy or frustration with a salvia spewing flap of his prestigious cheeks? What? Who expresses either joy or frustration with a saliva spewing flap of his prestigious prestigious cheeks? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Is it Boss Nass? It is. Uh, well, I haven't even looked at the answer, but I'm pretty. I would say Boss Nass. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, that's it's a very yeah. strange way of saying that. Of wobbling, yeah. yeah, of him wobbling. How his does chops. he do? A, how does he do a fat man? Blah, 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 yeah, basically. Um, so, question second: What does the emperor use? Uh, what does the emperor use the force to remove from Luke? What does the emperor use? What does the emperor use the force to? This is a fucking weird question. What force power does he, does uh, Emperor use to remove from Luke? Oh, no. Huh? What, what thing what? Yeah. does he remove I'll from Luke? I'll read you Luke the words and you, you figure this question right, out. I've got it, I've got it. Uh, I'm going to assume his lightsaber. Uh, no, binders or handcuffs. Yeah, it's when he turns up and he's in the thing. Oh. Uh, clink. Oh, oh, well. That's a very strange way of winning that question. Apologies for having to, people to listen through my fumbling attempts at saying that. I like you fumbling. Yeah, but it's normally just with your nethers, not yeah, with my true. words. Uh, question the third. Uh, who sighs? Sometimes I just don't understand human behaviour. C-3PO. Yes. Anything, it seems to be anything referring to humans. It's probably it's C-3PO, C-3PO, yeah. Uh, where does C-3PO say he'd like to take R2-D2 to get away from the Death Star Stormtroopers? Where does C-3PO say he'd like to take R2-D2 to get away from the Death Star Stormtroopers? So when encountered by stormtroopers, where does he yeah. say that they are going? Can I give you my silly answer first? Yes, you can give me a silly a answer A nice first. Italian restaurant. Ah, see, I was going to say a, a nice little taverna, mm. which is the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I honestly don't know that. I feel I should remember the, that, but I don't. I didn't have a clue. The answer makes sense, but it, I didn't have. A, I wouldn't know. The storage closet. Close. Maintenance. God damn. God damn bitch. Uh, bird. <laughs> how many times is the Imperial probe droid hit by blaster fire before it self destructs? 
So how many times is the Imperial Probe Droid hit by Blast Fire before it self-destructs? Is it three? It's two. Oh, I was going to say two, but I thought there was a third. So this is the one to win the card, otherwise you fail the card. Oh no. Pressure. Uh, who's the is first Jedi to be fired upon by his own clone troopers? Oh, and I do know this one as trilogy. well. Trilogy. It is. It's not actually who I thought it was. I forgot he gets shot at first. So, once again, who's the first I'm Jedi? I'm not going to know, because I'm not going to know their names. You know this name. Do I? Mm-hmm. Who's the first Jedi to be fired upon by his clone troopers? During Order 66. Is it Mace? No. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, bad luck, Obi. Yeah, it's when he's riding the giant chicken bird lizard. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy looking at the chicken bird lizard, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, trying to figure out what the fuck it is. Yeah. yeah. The only one I I really like actively remember being shot at is Keanu the Mundi. Twilik bird that gets shot in the back. Oh, uh, Alis Kura. Sure. Yeah. No, it's my my brain automatically goes to Cardi Mundi. He's on the bridge. Well, of course it it would. Yeah, with the man whose forehead just don't stop. Yeah. The Klu Klux Klan of, five of the of, uh, Star Wars world. Um, so I lose who that I card. believe is actually played by the man who played Fraser Crane, if I remember right. I'm probably a hundred percent wrong on that. But for some reason, really? there's a random bit of trivia with hmm. someone. Could someone, be. someone plays Kiardi Mundi, who you wouldn't expect it to be. Yeah. I, looking at Could it now, be. it's not him at all. Okay, um, but it's someone. Of it's that someone. Ilk. Yeah, it's some really bizarre. So character. I did not win that card. You did not. No. So you so are still one for. You one, still only have one card. So this could be exciting. This could be. Who does Han refer to as Greedo's boss? Uh, Jabba. Yeah, that was a pretty easy one. That was an easy one. Yeah. Han also shot first. Obviously. Who opens his robe with his left hand and draws his lightsaber to his right hand using the force in Count Dooku's secret Genosian hangar? That is not difficult either. Uh, They've asked that in a really complicated way. That's Yoda. Yes, it is. Yeah, no, I mean, as you were doing it, I was acting. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. I was I was thinking my brain I thought you were gonna go to episode three on the fight of the, the uh, yeah. when he meets Anakin, which is Obi Wan. Because that's what Oh no, he sh- he shucks his off. No mind. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Whose dash across an endor battlefield causes C three PO to scold this is no time for heroics? Uh Han. So who was the dasher? Han? No, it's R two D two. Oh I mean I wouldn't describe anything R two D two does. Especially in the original ones, as heroic as or dash or, or dash. Or... Yeah, I wouldn't describe it as dash. Rolled, wheeled. Yeah. The later ones, jetpacked. Who greets Anakin Skywalker with? You sure sprouted, huh? We who a Jedi? What do you know? As uh, you can tell, I didn't do the accent. Yes. Uh, see, mm, say say the line again. <clears throat> you sure sprouted, huh? We who a Jedi? What do you know? I feel if I did an accent for it, it would probably give it away. Yeah, so. I, I'm going to go with um, Jar Jar. No. No. Not Jar Jar. Watto. Uh, oh, When yeah. he goes back. Yeah, when he goes back yeah. in two. Yeah, sorry. I, I blocked out a lot of two. It's so. understandable. Yeah. Um, what object do rebels discover on Hoth, prompting the evacuation of their base? Rebels. Uh, oh, fuck, I don't know. Um, it's the probe droid, is it? Yep, yeah. an Imperial Probe Droid. Cool. So I've got the card. This You've is, got just, the card. For this is just for Yeah. Who sits opposite Qui-Gon Jinn at Shmi Skywalker's table during dinner? I always forget that her name's Shmi. Oh, that would be... Uh, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's either Padme or it's C-3PO. It's not fuck, 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 that's for sure. No. Um, I'm going to go with the fact this could be an obscure one. I'm going to go with C-3PO. It's Padme. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> But it was only for glamour points, yeah. so it's fine. I, I did know it. It was in there. Yeah. It was uh, just muddled. <laughs> you win that card. So fuck off, Harry. I knew that. See, so that's, that was a correct answer, just the wrong one I chose to give yeah. first. <laughs> so I said the right one. thing. Yeah, 2 1. Right, so uh, who complains on Hoth? The uh, quote begins Luke, I have no approach vector. So who complains on Hoth? Luke, I have no approach vector. Some twat. Um, uh, it's not some twat. Is it Biggs? No. Dak. Oh, Dak. Yeah. Harry, I don't know. I'll leave it for Harry if uh, he knows that Biggs survives or not. Yeah. I don't know who survives. I don't care. There's no. Some They're both dicks. Yeah. Uh, question the second. What Jedi crosses lightsabers separately with both Darth Tyrannus and Darth Sidious? So what Jedi uh, lightsabers... What Jedi crosses lightsabers, so battles is another yeah. way of saying, separately yeah. with both Darth Tyrannus and Darth Sidious? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
or think about it. This is a long silence for audio listeners, yeah. so I'm just going to make noise While I'm to thinking. fill it now. Yes, that is the sound of Jay thinking. The always known as the sound of silence. Yeah, <laughs> it's normally a lot more whirring going on. Yeah, uh, I, you've oiled I, the gears. I want time. to go with my gut, but I think it's probably wrong. Okay, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Okay, is it Anakin? No, he never. He doesn't fight Sidious because when when you find out he's Sidious, he enrolls him. Uh, it is. Thought he fought him. Yoda. Screw you, Yoda. Because Yoda, Yoda does the hoppy, flippy, bouncy yeah, uh, yeah. fight with Tyrannus, and yeah. then he does the spinny plate of doom fight with Sidious. With and it leaves I the, the have genuinely blocked out that entire fight. Apparently. Oh, it's a crap fight. The uh, the, the funniest it. thing is it is when Sidious goes ba- ass backwards over a chair. Yeah. That's the best part of the fight. And when Yoda sends a council room jet plate car thing, yeah. uh, spinning at Sidious as well. That's yeah. the best bit. Yeah, um, don't remember that at all. And then it happens for 30 seconds. Yoda goes, I'm tired now. Dark side wins and goes off into hiding. Yeah, fair <laughs> yeah. um, Dark side wins because I need to be in hiding for the next three films. Yeah. But, um, uh, two, well, two films? When's it, I don't know. I'm not even going to start questioning that. Yeah, just roll that's, on. That's m- way too many bad comments to go at. Uh, question the third. What age does Anakin think he was when he and his mother were sold to Watto? Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I didn't know this one at all. This Eight. Is, no. Two. No. 27. No. Three. <laughs> so you are currently uh, nil for three. So I've got to get the next three right. You need to ace these. Brilliant. As we go. So question the fourth. Who fires a cable that ensnares Luke, pinning his arms to his side? Who fires a cable Boba. that ensnares Luke, pinning his arms to his side? Gotta it be is Boba Fett. It yeah. is Boba Fett. Uh, question the fifth. What colour is the planet Mustafar? As seen from space. Not Simba's dad. No, I was going to say, kind of an orangey, tawny mm. colour. Um, mm. I'm going to go with red. Isn't Mustafar red? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is the lava planet. Yes, lava planet. Lava town. Lava town. That's it. Uh, also, origin of one of my favourite uh, MTV Movie Awards thing with Jimmy Fallon. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we watched it's, that a little while hot, ago, I'm, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to keep lava in my bedroom. It's hot. It's, 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 it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> flippy, 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 lava, lava. <laughs> Uh, and question six, the one to win the card. Yeah. What shape is the Death Star's conference room table? It's quite an easy one. Is it? Yeah. I think if you sta- it's a standard shape. <laughs> it's a two-dimensional shape as well. It's not a that. tricky one, then. No. No, it's not like a trapezium. <laughs> is it circular? It, must it be is circular. circular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the, the all, all big power tables are circular. That's no, the round table. The, the conference one... room in that one. Yeah. The... Rings of Saturn, yeah. the God's conference room. Those are literally the only circular round. things. <laughs> yeah. Only things that are circular. Nothing. I don't spend a lot of time paying attention to the furniture in in films. In films, really. No. Maybe I should. Maybe that's There's, a trick I've missed. Oh, the table in V for Vendetta, when this in the secret room. Is that circular? I want to say it is. Let's say it is. Also, the, the if we're wrong, correct us. The the Harry com- probably will. The conference room in the music video for Muse, when they're all dancing on the table. Circular. Circular. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There you go. Okay, so I've got two cards now. You've got two? I've got right. two, but I've got a card in hand. You have. One in the bush. No, wait. That doesn't make any sense. Is that two in the hands worth one in the bush? Maybe. What Twilik is Jabba the Hutt's major domo? Oh, f- fuck. I know his name, but I ain't going to get it. I'm just going to pass straight away. Uh, Bib Fortuna. That's it. I knew it was for- Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I knew it, but yeah, yeah I never it's, would it's there. I, it. I knew yeah. it's a stupid name. Yeah. Uh, who uses a lightsaber... To slice a hole in the ceiling of mm-hmm. a stalled elevator, noting there's more than one way up. Uh, I remember, that's cutting, the, cutting the roof. Yeah, in the roof. In the roof. That is going to be Anakin Skywalker. That is Anakin Skywalker. Yes. Surely the Milton, molten slag would drop down on his face. Probably. But, you know, plot. Yeah. Uh, who says of the grounded Millennium Falcon, mm-hmm. would it help if I got out and pushed? Uh, oh, shit. I'm pushed. It's going to either be Luke or wait. But like Grounded Millennium Falcon. When would that? What film is that in? It's not going to be the first one because it's not grounded. Then is it? Um, my gut is to go either Luke or Leia because they are the two sarkiest of the people in the original trilogy. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe Lando, but I don't. Th- I don't remember any time him getting on with some like hand to fly. The only time Lando I know Lando's on is when he's on with the weird guy with the weird face. 
and he's going hey, 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 when they're flying through the um, uh, Death Star Mark II. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to go with oh, fuck. I'm going to go with Leia. That sounds like a Leia line. You're going to go with Leia. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. Yeah. Winning Rip. at Leia. Rip Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Um, Hard man. Sneak up on you. So like the Spanish Inquisition. Two you got so far, yeah. Yep. Uh, what separatist organization builds its battle droids in the Genosian foundries? Oh, that is fuck. Um, what are they actually called? What are they actually called? Um, it's the Mining Federation or something. No. No. It's the Techno Union. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, <laughs> Techno Union. Yes, of course it is. I didn't terrible, know. Terrible, terrible name. It is. Uh, what city's central computer provides critical information to R two D two? City's central. It'd be Cloud City. Yes, it would. So you got this card, but for glory, for glory. Whose first line in the Phantom Menace mm-hmm. is "I have a bad feeling about this"? Uh, it's Qui Gon Jinn. No, oh, it's, it's Obi Wan. Ah, bad luck. No win on that one. No. I still, I can never get the glory point. I can no, never, I, I, I can no win the card. I can't get the glory though. No. Right. So for card the third, question the first. What color? It's Protocol Droid TC-14. I know this one. What colour? It's Protocol Droid TC-14. He's a Prilogy Droid, isn't he? He's a Prilogy Droid. Is he He's chrome? the Prilogyist. Uh, I'll give you that. He's silver, or yeah. silver, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Metal colour. He's the one who comes in uh, in the first part of episode one. That, yeah. is, that is TC-14. Oh, and says, so hey, in, do yeah. you want a drink? Tea, coffee, like beverages. Yeah. Yeah, that one. And then Obi-Wan and says something, like, you know, so I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't Qui-Gon, apparently. And Qui-Gon goes, that was my line! Yeah, you bitch! Goddamn bitch. <laughs> uh, question the second. How many lightsaber blows do Luke and Vader exchange in the dark side tree cave before Luke decapitates his enemy? What? <laughs> <laughs> you do, that, that is a bit of a bum question. I do apologize. Who the fuck counts? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How many... Bear in mind, this is a pr- this is a trilogy question, so it's not gonna be like it's ninety. Not a lot, no, yeah. no. Bear in mind, like the big fight of the first one has maybe five. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with three. Fuck me, you pulled that out of somewhere. Yes, it is indeed three. So you're, yeah, it was you my guess for how many times the thing got shot and it didn't work, so I <laughs> recycled it. Uh, you're two for two currently. Nice. On the card. So question the third: Who, after interacting with Luke, sighs? The boy has no patience. So, okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was that one, but okay. So who, after interacting with Luke, sighs, that boy has no patience. It's, oh, God, is it Obi or Qui-Gon? That's, that's the question. That is it the feels question. like it should be Obi, because Obi takes him under his wing, but... Yeah, Obi-Wan, I'm going with it, nope. Obi-Wan. Nope, it is... It's Qui-Gon. It is Yoda. Oh, it's Yoda. Wait, yeah. but he didn't say it backwards. How could it be Yoda? No, I know. It was a correctly constructed sentence. It can't be Yoda. <laughs> it's, a, it's enough short words for it to be... The, basically, the way if I figure it... The way I liken it to is if I can construct the sentence in German yeah. and the words move about, it means that Yoda would say it the other way around. I'm right. pretty sure okay. that's how I've got his sentence Probably, structure yeah. kind of worked out. All right, um, well, fuck you, Yoda. <laughs> so, uh, who warns Queen Amidala? A prelogy question. Yeah. I can only protect you. I can't fight a war for you. I know this one as well. I'm going to go Obi again. No, it's quite gone. God damn, it's never Obi. No, it is, uh, unless it's, um, if, I, whoever, if it's, yeah. if he has a bad feeling, Obi. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, question the fifth. How many forward firing laser cannons is a snow speeder outfitted with? I do know this one as well. Yes, I was right. Two. Yes. So you have the card. Yeah. Now for glory. Can Jay get the elusive glory? Oh, it's so elusive. What character is treated to a brief ride on a flying Geonosian conveyor droid? What character is treated to a brief ride on a flying Geonosian conveyor droid? I did not know that one. Is it C-3PO? It is C-3PO. Glory! So Jay, Jay gets the card and the glory. I think if any of us get six for six on a card, we'll they just, just win. win. Just win. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that is your third card, but I still okay. have a card in hand as well. You do, so. you're still full of card bush. Yeah, the elusive glory, I'm going to try and steal Jay's glory at yeah. some point. So, well, you'd have to get five to yes. steal my glory. Yeah. Okay, who does Qui-Gon Jinn refer to as my blue friend? My blue friend, Watto. Yes. <laughs> Again, quite an easy question. Yeah. There. What Toydarian merchant doesn't fall for Qui-Gon's Jedi mind tricks? Watto. 
<laughs> <sighs> yes. I'm a Tidarian. Can we My tricks do not work yes. on me. I'm getting like, how many times did their lightsabers <laughs> clash? Man, who is blue? Yeah. <laughs> What is Luke's two-word response when Leia wonders if Han cares about anything or anybody? Uh, himself. Only himself. No. Fuck. I care. Ah. He tries to sneak in. They're like, Han doesn't care about anyone. I care. I care. Love me. Love me. Oh, wait, shit, you're my sister. Oh, still love oh. me. It's been a while. Yeah. Who mutters, then the Emperor has already won when Luke seems unwilling to kill his own father? Uh, Do you want me to read that again? Yes. Who mutters, then the Emperor has already won, when Luke seems unwilling to kill his own father? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm going to go with Mon Mothma. No, it's Obi. Ah, <laughs> Ghost Obi. Ghost, uh, well, no, Old Man Obi. Is it Old Man Obi? No, because he doesn't Obi. know his father at that point. He's only, he's only ever Ghost Obi. Oh, right? yeah, shit point, yeah. yeah. No, good point. Not shit point, that's a good shit. point. Good point. Yeah, there you go. Need more words. Yeah. Uh, cool story, Brian. Needs more words. Yeah. Who pilots the pod racer that unleashes a trail of smoke into Sir Bulba's face? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this is akin to the how many times do their lightsabers yeah. clash? Uh, was what it? shapes the table? Unleashes the smoke that does what now? That uh, goes into Sir Bulba's face. Um, smoke that goes into Sir Bulba's face. I, I, no, not got a clue. I don't know his name. I pass. Uh, it is Anakin. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get really chastised for that one, but the pod racing scene, I kind of zone out on it. Yeah. It's just a bit Everyone boring. was excited by it when it came out for the trailer, and then didn't care about it in the film. Oh yeah, it's when is when is the the, the Ratley yeah. thing falls off. Yeah, I remember yeah. now. Yeah. Whose last word? Oh fuck! I thought that was the last question. Who? No, one more. Whose yeah. last word in a New Hope is what? Last word in a New Hope is. What? It's got to be C three PO. No, it's Darth Vader. Oh god damn! And for some reason, I can't. I can't think of that. Can't picture him saying ever saying that. What? Uh, what? Yeah. No. Uh, General Veers. So what? Is, Why is aren't it, you an admiral? Does it does it say what his last words? Yeah. Or, uh, right, okay, I thought it was the last words of the film. I'm like, well, C three PO tends to be able. So you still got them. it. Yeah, but no, did still not no goddamn steal the glory. glory. So I'm on four, you're on three. But yeah. you are a card behind, so I still need to fuck up. Yeah, right. Right, so card the fourth, well, card the fifth, this one is. Uh, question the first. Uh, what species are the gangsters who dominate the economy on Tatooine? This is an easy one. The huts. They are the huts, indeed. Question. I said it, I said it, and immediately went, wait, is wait, that what? their species? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know if that actually clarifies a species. It's more. No, fa- I, I assumed it was a family name. But yeah, that's anyway. what I thought. Yeah, I suppose he, he's Jabba the Hutt. The Hutt. Yeah, so. So. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, question the second: What part of Darth Vader's body does Luke wound with his lightsaber in the Cloud City duel? And so. how many times does he hit him? <laughs> so, what part what of Darth Vader's body it? does Luke wound what with his lightsaber get? in his Cloud City duel? Does he get his arm? I'm going to go arm. Um, Do I have to be specific? This is quite a specific body part, yeah. Like I'm not, not down to the extent of like forearm, but I can't give you arm. It's shoulder. Oh, uh, yeah. It's no, not, that's, no, not, that's, that's fair. a different that's not, body part. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll give like, if it came up with forearm, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, no, I will agree with yeah. shoulder being different to I arm. I mean, yeah, head, shoulders, knees and toes, it differentiates exactly. itself. So yeah. It's one of the core features of a body. Yeah. Which is what head, shoulders, knees and toes tells you about anyway. Yeah. Well, in that case, I've got no arms. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. No, you got and then you, you yeah eyes and uh, yeah no, no, you don't no, have no, any no, arms. No. I don't yeah, think yeah, it ever fuck. mentions arms. It oh doesn't. my god! No, I have these two random arms I don't need. Apparently, carry on. You have no legs either. You just have knees and one. toes. I'm on one, right? You're on yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, who does Luke chide? You're making a mess. Who does Luke chide? You're making a mess. Nope, I didn't know that one. <laughs> oh, good. Mm. Uh, well, this is trilogy, so this is you. It's probably worth saying at this point that this was set out before episode seven, so there are no episode seven questions in this one. Sure, That's probably for the best. Yeah. Um, I've got really itchy calf for some reason, and it's very strange. I'm making a mess. I am making a mess. When does he say that? 
In one of the films. Yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. And who did he say it to? That's the question. God damn. Um, <laughs> I'm wise to your tricks, sir. <laughs> um, I think it's R2-D2. No, it is Yoda. Oh. It's when oh, he, crap. When he's cleaned yeah, up his little he, hut. Yes, when he yep. first meets him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Well, he's a weird, green, wrinkled For some hermit. reason, I thought it was R2-D2 when he was scrubbing him up when he's first bought him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, who's the second person to join Han Solo's Endor command crew? Who is the second person to join Han Solo's Endor command crew? So this is episode four. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Mm. Chewy? No. 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 Leia. Oh, I was going to say Leia, and I thought you know Chewy would be there first. <laughs> Uh, question the fifth what separatist this is a prodigy yeah. faction has battleships which can detach their spherical centre sections for planet fall is it the techno union <laughs> no damn it is the trade federation fuck you trade federation because they are the ball <laughs> oh the ring. of course they are yeah, like, yeah. yeah 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 um, and question the sixth you haven't got this card you still no, but the one. this is just this has been a bit of a dick card, this one. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, what I'll do next time is I'll give them a shuffle, because you are getting a bit of a couple of dick cards in a, <sighs> in a row here. Uh, so question six, what number entered while highlighting THX on the options screen of the Phantom Menace DVD plays a blooper reel? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, talk about your Easter egg hunts. What? <laughs> fuck. What? what? Uh, oh, I... Th- um, I- is it that one? I think it's that one. Do you know the the Disney number that keeps recurring in the animation? Eight one one seven. No, one one three eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's the same. It's the animator thing. It's the the class for animation at whatever that yeah, college yeah. they learn animation. What a bunch of pricks! That is that is a prick question. That is a horrific question. If that would have been your decider question, I would have given you another one. Jeez, that's nasty. Yeah, because right. that, that was a that was a dick question. That, that really was. I mean, there's there's counting lightsaber strikes, and then there's finding a blooper on a on a DVD that neither for I, a film I hate. It didn't come out on DVD to begin with. It came out on VHS. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> card. Right. Who points out Obi? Um, is this to win for you? No. Uh, yes. It is. Yeah. This card is to win for you. Uh, who points out Obi Wan's table to stormtroopers entering Mos Eisley Cantina? Uh, who? Hmm. Entering Mos Eisley Cantina. Uh, see, I was going to say uh, Guido, but he gets she's shot already. So uh, I've got a clue. I don't know the name. Uh, it's the bartender. Ah. So, all right, okay. Uh, who does Yoda warn? Careful, you must be when sensing the future. Uh, Anakin Skywalker. Yes, that's when he has his visions about Padme dying. Sad. Yeah. Right. Spoilers. Or he did it. Not. Well. Yeah. Uh, who takes the time to get a to let a largely disassembled C three PO know that he's looked better? Hmm. Who takes the time? Mm-hmm. To let a largely disassembled C three PO know five. that he's looked better. Basically, who tells C three PO that he's looked better when he's in pieces? Uh, so he's in pieces, which would be that's when Han has been put in carbonite. So it's not Han, I think. Hmm. Who would say that? Does it say when he's looked better or? What? The the person speaking is letting yep. know letting C three PO know that he has looked better. Okay, C3O, so I was trying C3PO to find words. out where the gender specific word was. Uh, In relation to C three PO, again, it sounds like a layer line. It's R two D two. All right. Yeah. Okay. So well, R two D two whistles. Yeah, R two D two beeps and whistles, and then C three PO responds through Anthony Daniels. We find out yeah. that what he actually said was, "You've looked better." Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, who warns Tarkin? The more you tighten your grip, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. That is Princess Leia. Yes. That's just before they blow up Alderaan. Yeah. And he goes, how about that then, bitch? <laughs> yeah. If any slip through, I'll just button the fuck up. How about yeah. that? Mm. Uh, who has to cancel plans to pick up some power converters at Tosh Station? Cancel some plans to pick up power converters. That Oh, that's uh, Luke. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you won this I've one. won, yes. For have, glory. Do I have chance? Is there only one question for glory, or do I have two questions for uh, glory? You've actually only got one, so you can match. I can. I can my eat glory. For glory. I can. Okay. And it's actually quite an easy one, oh, so good. you probably will. Uh, Who, I, 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 I am nothing but a surprise, sir. <laughs> 
Who tempts Luke Skywalker by offering, take your Jedi weapon, use it, I am unarmed? Oh, fuck. Uh, oh. Who? Oh, is he gonna, do you want to read it again? Oh, no, it's um, uh, Darth Sidious at the end. It's the like, end of episode six, isn't it? I will give you that. Is it Palp- Does it say Palpatine? It it says, at that point, he's Darth Sidious. But I will give so, you that because, yes. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Equal glory. E- equal glory, and I am and a better Star Wars than you are. I am in an effort to excuse myself from that, blaming you 90% a... of that on the cards. So what we can do, because I believe you won last time, Yes. We, we'll do one more round next week. We'll which have will, a... Which will also be pre-recorded, because I'm going away for training next week. Yes. So I was going to ask, are you free on Sunday? No. Okay. Saturday? No. Right, this could be a problem. This is... When you're away as of Monday. I go... Uh, well, unless you're around Monday daytime, which I know you're not, because you now work Monday to uh, Friday 9 to 5. I might be, because I think it's a bank holiday. Uh, it is a bank holiday. So I may well be. Let me check, okay. and I'll let you know. Yes, because I need to, I my training is up in basically Coventry. Right. So I need to leave by probably midday. Plus, no one can speak to you. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm in a hotel pretty much on my own for a week. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that will be pre-recorded, and we'll have a winner of winners round because it's currently one. You all you have one one, and I have one one. One all. In the Star Wars trivia, should we do it the same same method? Same as this one. This one, well. this one was a better one than the last um, one. But it takes yeah. personal prejudice out. Let's uh, switch the cards up and shuffle them a lot. Yeah, I've, I've got one more pack that's unopened, so I'll bring that. Open ones. it, but shuffle it. Yeah, that was yeah. You did get a pretty bum draw with yeah, that. Yeah, I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, that will be the end of this episode as well because it is currently. One hour and 26 minutes. Ooh, we've oh, we've overrun One slightly. thing as well, do you know at the end of the last episode, episode two and episode three, were only five seconds in length, difference in length. Wow. One was one minute 17.38 and one was one minute 17.43. We nearly got good and then we fucked it and this then, time. Yeah, then we got two into Star Wars questions. Yeah, <laughs> should have started those earlier. Right. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much for listening, guys. As I say, this should hopefully be on iTunes, um, providing they give me the okay. Um, and it will be on demand for download uh, obviously you can find it on YouTube still which is where I'll also upload it to and also 177entertainment.com mm-hmm. Jay has things on WordPress which is uh, URL uh, band to the bone dot wordpress.com yep. Or, yep. Uh, and Beaters now has its own website apparently uh, called beatersgaming.co.uk there you go so check those things out and uh, yeah uh, next one I say will be pre-recorded slightly earlier because I'm away but it will still be released Wednesday evening slash Thursday morning um, and yeah uh, thank you very much for listening guys I've been Niff here's been Jay I okay. have been Jay bye bye